Nick Fenton with TickerTank.com here and I wanted to share something with you that was shown to me by uh, some YouTube viewers that is very obvious now that I've been shown I just for some reason overlooked it in the past not exactly sure how I missed it uh, but I thank you for pointing it out to me uh, so here we're on the Analyze tab in Thinkorswim under the Risk Profile and if you don't know how to get to this page and already, I already have a preloaded trade here if you aren't familiar with how I got to this page with the preloaded trade, you can watch a few other ticker tank videos. Um, I don't, I do it very often in those videos. I don't really want to go back over that here. But what I generally do is on this page, once I have the trade loaded, uh, you know, it'll load with the slices kind of usually around the one standard deviation area. Um, so what I do is I'll hit set slices and I'll go down here to break even and I'll choose the break even date. This is actually a trade I'm looking at for an earnings play on Micron, so we're looking at weekly options that are expiring in a couple days. This isn't my typical uh, duration-based strangle. It's an earnings-based strangle that we're using in this example. So what you can see is uh, it sets the slices to the break-even points based on the uh, price of 40, and our lower break-even is 2110, upper break-even is 2690. In the past, I would plot this on the chart Sim you know, I basically would, would say to myself 2110 and 2690. I'd remember those two numbers. I'd go over here, I'd grab my uh, channel tool, and I would plot out, you know, roughly 2110, and then I'd, I'd do roughly 2690. So as you can see here, well, that's definitely an efficient method, but it's at the time, I didn't realize it was not the most efficient method. So let's go ahead and delete that. I'm going to delete the drawing. And let's go back and I'll show you the most efficient method that was shown to me by YouTube viewers. And I really appreciate it. So there's two things you can do. You can hit set slices to chart, which is this huge button that was sitting right next to set slices that I've just, for some reason, never looked at. And you can you hit set slices and you just choose the top left corner. So it just goes to a single chart. And it automatically carries over the slices for you. How beautiful is that? So it puts your break evens perfectly on the exact spots. You know, it's not, you don't have to sit there and remember and repeat. Uh, it just puts them right there perfectly for you. Any strategy that you have, break evens, uh, it'll do it. It'll also, of course, if you, there's, there's another way to do it. You can, you can click set slices. And again, I don't know how I overlooked this. And you can go down here to set slices to chart, choose that top left, same situation. Um, a couple of other things you might want to utilize this for, if you just kind of want to plot, say, a two standard deviation move on the chart, you can hit that set slices to two standard deviation move. It's going to set your, uh, your base, which is the current price, your uh, upper two standard deviation move and lower two standard deviation move. Keep in mind these are pretty tight because these options expire tomorrow. You know, we're looking at weeklies here, not regular duration based. And then you can go to set slices to chart here, and it'll set all those slices on the chart for you. So you'll see your current price, your two standard deviation up and two standard deviation down. So, you know, so that's another way you could utilize it in the future. But you know, the main thing I wanted to show you here was the set slices to chart function, which is very efficient and uh, definitely the only way I'm going to go about plotting my break evens or standard deviation moves, basically anything that I have, any, any slices that I want to take from the Analyze tab and plot onto the chart, this is the only way I'm going to do it going forward. One thing to keep in mind, you can only do it one at a time, so for we just had those uh, stand, two standard deviation moves on there. If we, hit, if we change it back to break even, go to set slices to chart, it's going to remove those and replace it with our break evens here. And so that's just one final note to keep in mind, but it's very useful. Hope you enjoy it. If you didn't already know about it, Take care.